in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar ibn Abid and this is lecture 9, properties of human language and we are going to look at first property, reflexivity. Uh, this is chapter 2, animals and human language. So in each lecture, we are going to discuss both human language and a little bit about animals language and after a few lecture we will look at in detail about animals language so let's start what is reflexivity so as the word suggests uh, reflexivity uh, you can say means reflection uh, we reflect something so it is a property which is called reflexivity so let's look at the definition a special property of human language that allows language to be used to think and talk about language itself so you may better uh, better understand by these two phrases think and talk about language itself that is by using language we can talk about language itself so let's look at uh, that uh, is the reflexivity available in animals language or not and is this only the property of human language so all creatures all creatures communicate we know uh, if uh, we go on uh, we look at this word uh, creature so most of us produce it like creature actually if the correct pronunciation of this word is creature k -ri uh, we will look uh, in detail about phonetics in incoming lectures so uh, undoubtedly all creatures communicate in some way even creatures communicate without vocalization that is with their body language the same concept is available in human language as well that sometimes we wave our hand we shake hands uh, sometimes we talk with our eyes so body language gestures these are all the parts of language and these are all uh, the parts of communication as well uh, about these topics and about these aspects we will look at in detail uh, when we talk about psycholinguistics or uh, sign language however we suspect that other creatures do not reflect on the way they communicate uh, it means that just like we can reflect on language we can talk about language itself we can talk about many things which are even not present in the immediate environment so we reflect on language so other creatures do not reflect on the language or other creatures do not reflect the language as human beings reflect it means uh, they do communicate they do communicate but they do not follow do not know how their communicate works or not other creatures communicate like you can say monkeys gorillas and all other animals but they do not know how their communication works but we know how our communication works you know we have such subjects that how communication works even in body language uh, some aspects in psychology some aspects in linguistics we study all these aspects the same example uh, I gave you in last lecture uh, that a dog does not bark on another dog to tell it how it could make it sound more menacing uh, as I told you that when the when a dog barks so actually he is not thinking about barking he or she does not know that what is the meaning of barking so the, the dog does not know the meaning of barking in other words they cannot talk about language itself uh, it means that they do not know that what is barking or if they could change their pitch or tone so it can change meaning they do not know but innately they have uh, some sounds which are provided uh, by God which are provided by nature so that they bark and they communicate with barking so humans reflect on language now let's come on to humans for example uh, someone says I wish he wouldn't use much technical terms he has not 
command it on past tense sorry i should use ed her language is quite informal even in formal situations so here you can see that we are talking about language itself for example much technical terms he wouldn't use much technical terms so we are now talking about language that there is a person who use technical terms in his speech he has not commanded on past tense so now you are talking once again about language that there is a person who do not know how to use past tense so we are talking about language itself her language is quite informal even in formal situations once again now we are distinct uh, distincting formal situations and informal situations so once again we are talking about language itself we have the distinction of formal situation and informal situation so the property of reflexivity accounts for the fact that we can use language to think and talk about language itself so this is reflexivity uh, this is a property of human language that enable us to define a language for example if we have not this property of reflexivity so we cannot know the structure of a language we cannot know how a language works now you can uh, you could say and you could see sorry that we have books of grammar we have books of rules of language we have books how to use language so this is all due to uh, due to the property of reflexivity why other animals uh, other creatures could not do because they don't have the property of reflexivity they cannot reflect on language they cannot talk about language itself even uh, these are human beings who have studied those animals and they uh, these uh, these human beings have made uh, some researches some books on animals language as well that how animal communication works animals maybe do not know maybe or maybe do not know maybe no maybe do not know but we human beings have produced some stuff some material that we have suggested and we have provided the information that how animals communicate with each other so for example we define the complete structure of a language how sounds words and sentences are combined we will look at sounds in phonology words in word formation and morphology and sentences in syntax in incoming lectures so this is all about reflexivity the next lecture will be about another property of human language and that is displacement so once again uh, i acknowledge uh, that uh, my english language skills or speaking skills are not up to the mark or are not as good as it should be as i have told you in the first lecture that my native language is urdu but uh, i am trying my best to convey my message and uh, it doesn't mean that i haven't uh, the concept clear i have uh, the clear concept the same lang uh, the same video you can watch in urdu as well but uh, due to uh, just due to some stammering i face difficulty in speaking english but uh, i have tried my best and i always need your advices uh, you tell you can tell me the pros and cons in my videos uh, i will acknowledge it i will be very happy i will be even grateful to you that if you uh, point out my mistakes so don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you